Well, there are more than 100 Monona Grove students in their current production. It's a big group for a big show. Les Miserables is currently on stage at Monona Grove. And as Michael Bruno found out as he goes backstage, the students have their work cut out for them. It's set around the early 1800s, um, and it goes for several years through the student revolution, uh, which happened in um, 1832, or around that area. And um, it's basically about Jean Valjean, who was convicted at an early age of stealing bread for his sister's child, and uh, spent many years in jail. It means you get your little ticket to believe. You are a thief. I stole a loaf of bread. You robbed a house. I broke a window pane. Playing the uh, bad guy or the villain, if you will, is actually kind of funny, because uh, in real life, I like to think of myself as a nice guy most of the time, and I like everyone in the cast, so um, it's kind of uh, strange to get into character and, you know, scowl at everybody. And I like going over the top a lot, uh, whether that be the comedic characters or, you know, the seriousness. Um, so I think when I'm getting into character, I just really, like, really channel all the anger that I can. And I'm Javert. Do not forget my name. Do not forget me. Two, four, six, so oh, one. I play the character Eponine in Les Mis, and she's a very strong woman. Um, she lives kind of in the slums, but she knows what she wants, and she tries her best. This is almost like an operetta. This is a very, very, very mm -hmm. powerfully sung show. Mm -hmm. How do you feel having to learn all the music for this? There's been so much music for this show. Um, there's almost no spoken lines, so it's been a little crazy in that regard, but I think it's been super awesome, and the music is so powerful. And God's blessing go with you. I'm Jean Valjean, and it's obviously kind of a very key part in the musical. I get to kind of interact with a lot of different types of people, and. I can find different types of emotions throughout the whole musical. They gave me a number and murdered Valjean when they came me and left me for dead just for stealing a mouthful of bread. And I hear you're related to certain other people that are in this production. you mind telling us who that is? Uh, yes, my parents are both the directors. My dad is the director and my mom is the choral director. So are your parents more critical and are more demanding of you because they are your parents uh, and your director? They definitely are. They. Even when we're at home, they're always giving me critiques, and at the dinner table, they're always making sure I know what I need to get better at for the next practice. There was no ransom to be paid. This is a huge production. I mean, obviously, it's been on Broadway several times. They've made a movie out of it. How daunting was this to do as a high school production? For you? It's it's daunting. It's a very it's a long show. Um, th this is called the student edition of it, and. A lot of that has to do with length. What they've done is they've tried to trim it down um, so that it would work well, uh, better with a, with a um, high school audience. Les Miserables at Monona Grove. What a production. It's a, it's a huge production. They actually built a turntable on the stage so that they could have the, 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 the scene changes on a turntable on a high school stage. These are high school <laughs> students singing and, like that. And it's amazing. They're unbelievably talented. I can't, every time I go into high schools, I, I'm blown away by the amount of talent these kids have. It seems to get better every year. Yeah, and their voices. I mean, this is like an opera. It's, it's almost all sung, and they all have beautiful voices. Yeah, what a task to take on, though. It's a big task. It's a very big show, but they, uh, they are doing the high school shortened version right. of it. So instead of it being 85 hours long, <laughs> it's only two and a half hours long. Oh, no. <laughs> that 85 hours. But, you oh, know, it's, that's a long show. There's 12 intermissions. So that, that, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's at Monona Grove High School tonight and tomorrow at 7 o'clock, Sunday, 2 o'clock. There you go. Yes. All right, Michael, next week. Next week, it is Steel Magnolias at the Bartell Theater. Looking forward to that. Here, new time. <laughs> Get your uh, green tomatoes. What is it? Fried green tomatoes. Oh, boy. Why do I bring it up? You, with you, it? Don't you're worry. mixing your metaphors. Thank you, Michael. Thanks, Michael. <laughs>